What's up, comic and pop culture fans? This is James with Mint Hunter Comics, and it is a grotesque, rainy day. So no yard sailing, no flea markets today. But it doesn't mean I can't go to a warehouse and search for dollar bin books. Let's check it out. All right, comic and pop culture fans. Quite honestly, I'm glad I rerouted from yard sales and flea markets to do a little dollar bin shopping today because I did really, really well. Now. There's a lot of books I have to go over, so I'm gonna go do them real quick for you here. Uh, first up, we got this Batman J. Scott Campbell cover. Now, some of these I've already gone ahead and priced, so some of these are to move, some of these are for the PC, some of these really truly are just dollar bin, not too special books. Some of them are a little bit more than that. So let's keep it going here going to go at a little bit of a fast pace here. Really happy with today. Death of Superman, very nice. Next up we got a really underrated Static Key. This is Static 2, it's the origin of Static. Uh, I actually found two of those. Not bad, not bad. First appearance of Captain Carrot. That one's a PC book. I saw it. I put a price on it, but it occurred to me I can't sell that, so... That one's staying with me. Now here's one of the better ones found. Not too shabby, right? Web of Spider-Man number one. I think that's like a $20, $25 book in that condition. That's one of the better ones of the day, so I'm really happy with it. Next up, Complete Sword of Adam. I was able to find each and every one, so I put together the entire mini-series there. So that's pretty sweet, right? Did get a couple pretty crispy. I'll just show you one of them. I did get three of these of the Batman 497 Bane Breaking Batman's back. Very nice. That's one I always pick up even when it's not in super nice shape. Very high grade. Super Villain Team Up number five. Very nice. Another cool one here. We got a team. I found one, two, and three. I don't know if it's a four part or a six part or a what. But I did find all those. Unfortunately, number one was a little rough condition, but hey, again, no problem. Now, the cool thing was I only spent a whopping $31 with some change due to tax because apparently I had some store credit that I thought was long used up. Apparently, I still had it, so that's pretty darn sweet. Keep it going here. Society of Supervillains. That's a good one. Very underrated. And I apologize that I'm going over this so fast, but again, I got more stuff today than I usually would find in like a warehouse sort of thing. I don't think we got any grand slams today. Certainly nothing over a hundred bucks, but we've definitely got ones in the double digits for sure. Actually, I got a couple of these first talisman. Very sharp. I actually might take that price off and just get that one graded quite honestly. Very nice. So those are the ones that I already graded. Now we're into the ones I didn't quite get to. I spent some time bagging and boarding everything. So that took a little bit of time. So you got to count in, you know, the gas it took to get over there. And then the price of the bag and boards, which, you know, that's not nothing these days. Uh, one cool thing, I he at the warehouse had golden age bag and boards. So I've been looking for golden age bag and boards for a while and I finally got them, so that's pretty great. Couple simpler ones. Yeah, some of these are just like little, quite honestly, truly worth like a dollar. Some of these five, some of these maybe 10 bucks, some of these 15, 20, and a few oddballs that are even over that. Uh, I was trying to put together a lonely place of dying. I got most of it. I'm gonna have to uh, find the other ones to totally complete it. Actually, I got two of these. A couple, I always pick up like number ones, um, especially if it's from the 80s. A lot of people like number, number ones, even though they're not big keys. If it's from Marvel or DC, and certainly indies. I always try to pick up indies, number one from the 80s. I don't pick up too many modern indies, 80s, but I always try to grab these. Here's a good one. Animal Man, Ma Animal Man number one. Very nice. I think that's the first appearance of the rot or something like that. I got a bunch of these. Uh, first appearance of steel, uh, Connor Kent, all that goodness. 
Um, so I'll save you some time. I got a ton of those. All right, next up, we got a bunch of these. Save you some time. But uh, that's real good. No, I don't know if they have the Deadpool trading card. Uh, I didn't open them up to look, but that's pretty good regardless. And little 90s number ones like that. Cage number one. A bunch of uh, Team Titans books. Titans one. Yeah, I always... I always either look for, like, small keys at these sorts of things. Obviously, big keys are totally welcome. You usually don't find big keys left over. But, you know, still good. And number ones. I always try to grab number ones. Ultimate Marvel team-up. Pretty nice. Here's where Aquaman loses his hand. That's pretty cool. Pretty cool issue there. We got Power Man and Iron Fist. I forget the key significance of that book. Uh, first appearance of Jack Chance. Awesome Green Lantern character. A little on the underrated side for sure. Green Lantern Core quarterly number one. I uh, did pick up a couple of Superman wedding albums. And again, I'll, I'll say again, this was all dollar bins. This was all dollar bins. And then with a nice surprise of, apparently I have store credit. So, again, I only spent about 30 cents. Random Crisis book. Not bad. Kind of a random Green Lantern key. I actually have a 9.8 of that. I collect the entire Green Lantern run. I try to in 9.8. So, I'm good on that one. So, I'll probably sell that. A uh, bunch of these. Not bad, not bad. Little Teen Titans keys here from the uh, 2000s run. Who's this? Jeff Johns? Yeah. Jeff Johns, the man, the guy that really knows how to do DC. Oh, here's a good one. This is that Alan Moore Batman annual story that, like a year ago, I made a video talking about most unknown and excellent Batman stories. This is one you want. Basically, Alan Moore, anything he touches was pretty much gold. <laughs> Here's a couple nice $1 books to pick up. A couple small-time things here. Like this Captain America. I think it's a wraparound cover or some sort of something. I forget. Not bad. We got the uh, Marriage of Wally. Very nice. A non-polybagged. Uh, first appearance of Steel and Connor Kent and all that. I'll keep it going. And we got some Alpha Flight keys. Very nice. We got, uh, not a key, but I pick up cool Spider-Man covers always. And I'm pretty sure that is some sort of reference to Swarm. It's gotta be. So that's a cool villain. Uh, Captain America 208. Some minor significance to that book. Quite honestly, I forget. Um, very nice. Alpha Flight 22. Got a bunch of Alpha Flights. And uh, I thought this one was a key. Apparently it's not. But hey, whatever. Maybe I'll put together a run. Oh, another cage number one. Very nice. Couple tiny little minor Superman keys here. Uh, we got a Vigilante key, small key, but you know, pick up small keys all day if it's 50 cents to a dollar, so no problem. New Teen Titans, number 29. Uh, this is a good one to show off here. All right, this is one of the higher ticket items. I was very surprised to find a book of that caliber in there. Like half of the stuff you're looking at, it was all not bagged and boarded. So, I got it in a bag and board now. Fantastic Four Annual 5. That actually, in high grade, is worth decently over 100. So, that's a total, total win. Keep it going. We got a couple hardware number ones. That's a book I just got a 9.6 out of. Very nice. I um, was hoping for the 9.8, but that's okay. Um, we got the first... What's that, Maria Rambo, the mother of Monica, I think. 
might be botching those names. Um, and then, you know, I just mentioned I always get indie number ones. Um, for whatever reason, you know, I know a few collectors out there that always like that stuff. So I pick it up when I can because they're always interested in stuff like that. Uh, Scorpio Rose. Oh, here, this is so random. Uh, you know what, I'll save that. And yeah, I apologize. There is no order to these books at all. Saber number one. Again, I always pick up the indie indie number ones. Here's Amazing Spider-Man 88 coverless. I got that one for free. So I like free. I like free a lot. Um, I almost passed on this. Good thing I looked online. I'm not so up to date on my Star Wars knowledge. Apparently that's like a neat $10, $15 book right there. First appearance of a couple people couple Star Wars folks. This thing's not the greatest condition, but it was a number one, so I said, let's do it. You know, I pick up 20 centers for number one. There's tape on the edge, so do not like seeing tape, but you know, whatever. Um, I always pick up this one. That always fetches like an easy five bucks. This one did have the trading card in it still, which is great. First appearance of Max there. Here was a good one. This is like a $20, $25 book. Uh, Grendel, number one, that's certainly on the underrated side, and it does have some value. That always usually tends to move real easy. A couple more Alpha Flights. Um, I forget the key significance of this book, but uh, I got two of them. <laughs> Not bad. All the Alpha Flights were remarkably good condition. Maybe, maybe they'll get sent out. Who knows? Probably not, though. Lately, with all the cost of submitting, not to mention the fact that I'm just not that into submitting right now, um, so much of this stuff, I'm not, I'm just, I don't know, it, it, it kind of has to at least fetch like a hundred bucks for it to be worth my while. I hate that that's the case, but it's kind of true. A couple random Captain Adam books, I'm kind of trying to put together a full run. I've really discovered lately that this run was a fantastic read, so, you know. That's a no-brainer for me. I'll pick that up all day. It's nice doing, you know, collecting for the PC, collecting keys to maybe flip to put into bigger books for my PC, collecting stuff to read. I really got a little bit of everything here. Stuff for the wall, all kinds of stuff. Um, a couple crossovers here. Uh, remember when this book was like the biggest thing? All the different variant covers. This is the Shadowhawk variant. That's cool. Some minor web of Spider-Man key. I couldn't tell you off the top of my head. I remember when I was looking at it. It uh, yeah, it was just something. Can't quite remember. Amazing Spider-Man. This is actually, I collect this entire run. It's not a key, I don't believe. But it is one that's actually missing from my uh, personal collection. So, another no-brainer. X-Men 2099, number one. It's an easy $5 book right there. Oh, here we go. Somewhere between $1 and $5, I caught a couple of these Wildcats number ones. I normally don't even pick those up anymore, but, you know, it's still good. So, give me a second to fix this string. Alright, the string is fixed. Uh, wasn't sure if I actually showed this one yet, but Green Lantern and Jeff Johns number one. Always pick that up. I have my 9.8, but still, it's great. And then this is what I think is the cream of the crop. Uh, we got a ton of uh, four-color books. You know, we're talking 50s, 60s, uh, really, really great stuff. And some of it is uh, like 8.0 or better. Some of it's in like the 2 range. It is all over the place. Uh, it looks like he got in two collections. One was a little lower on the grade, and another one was a little bit higher. He put the best stuff in the shop and brought the rest to the warehouse. Well, I think he definitely missed some stuff, because there's some goodies in here. Nice big, wide, golden age stuff here. 10 centers, 12 centers, 15 centers. I, I got it all here, so very nice. And then here's these double size. These are, I think, reprintings of classic Uncle Scrooge stories, but they're still great. Uh, I think maybe like 100 pages in here, so that's pretty cool. And there's a classic cover being homaged right there on that one. 
Nice little uh, 12 center here. Believe it or not, these go for like five, 10, sometimes $15 a pop. No, I'm not even talking about the ones that are keys. The ones that are keys go for wildly more, but you know, you know how it is. Let's see, do I even need the string? Can I just uh, lean it up? Yeah, it looks like I can just lean it up. The string wasn't necessary. <laughs> Keep going. A little more Donald Duck. Anything with Donald Duck and Scrooge McDuck has value. I don't know why. Um, well, I kind of know why. Um, what's it? Carl Barks, Donald Duck Master. The stuff is weirdly a good read. It really is. More than just a collecting standpoint, they're iconic Disney looking covers and they're good reads. So, kind of a no brainer. Very nice. This, yeah, see what I mean? This one's notably in not as nice shape. They're all over the place. I mean, some of them were good. Some of them beat, you know? Very clearly from two different collections. Donald Duck. More Walt Disney comics. Here's another one from a different one from the lower that was a much worse condition. And then one's in the middle. So, you know, good stuff. Fantastic for dollar bin diving right here. Really great. Really great. Couldn't be happier. Mm, very nice. Bambi. Yeah, people love these. I love these. I don't know why I'm saying people. I guess I'm a people. Okay. Uh, some more. Oh, this is a 12 center. Yeah, there's 10 centers, 12 centers, and 15 centers. The oversized of this era usually were 25 cents. Got a bunch of Turoks. That's cool. That's nice. Uh, we got Korak, Son of Tarzan. Some of these are gorgeous. This is one of the nicer ones. Honestly, if I wanted, I could get some of those graded. But again, I'm kind of putting a pause on the old grading at the moment. Not as fun as it used to be. Tarzan. More Tarzan. There's rivets. Uh, Hardy Boys. 10 center. More 10 centers here. Indian Chief 10 center. Very nice. I'll show you the last batch of these and then the last few comics I got. A couple non Disney ones. Like the Looney Tunes, Bugs Bunny stuff. Love that cover, man. I don't think I could sell that. That's pretty sweet. Here's another Sunset Strip. Uh, I did get a bunch of Beetle Baileys. I normally pass on that. However, if the condition's good, I'll grab it. Um, and the condition was, was definitely good, so I did it. Ended it off with Sea Hunt. Very happy with these. Let's show you the very end. I believe that is the first cameo of Archangel. Very nice. Legends of the Dark Knight 120. Very nice. Great cover too. Check it out. Like I said, no particular grand slams, but some definite stuff that's worth about 20 bucks. Here's another one. First uh, appearance or full appearance of Bronze Tiger. That's a great one. Another beefy one right here. Very high grade, She-Hulk 43. Um, She-Hulk books, ironically, are going down right now despite the very popular show, which is surprising to me. To get the first appearance of Tim Drake. I've got a little collection of those right now. I've been doing really good with that book. Third to last, I quite honestly forget the significance of that book. It might be an Ultron-related key. I was very, very happy with that. That's a spicy one. That's a nice condition too. Here's one I'm going to get graded, so I don't even know why I put the price tag on there. But that is the second best book that I got there. <clears throat> Let's show you the best one in the bunch. 
Two-way tie for number one. Avengers 129, and then Peter Porker Spectacular Spider-Ham number one. This one is actually a potential 9-8 candidate, so I'm really excited about that one. That one I actually probably will submit. This one, I think I remember, I actually don't see it now. I think I caught a couple small, tiny issues, so it's not a 9-8 candidate, but it's, it's up there. Anyway, guys, not bad for $31 and I believe 59 cents with tax. I think overall, it's a good thing that the rain didn't turn me off. As always, keep on hunting.